Good morning and happy Friday and welcome back to the NOFO Life Show where I, Sunita, along with my two co-hosts, Tracy from Miss Tracy Kessler and Kelly from NOFO Endless Summer, we hop on every Friday and talk about everything North Fork. Um, different menu. I am visiting a family in New Jersey and for some reason it seems like my outfit matches the walls so I feel like I'm blending right in. On top of that, I have a horse throat, so you're going to have to put up with my uh, with my voice sounding that way. A mm, couple of things. One, um, I think our friend um, Tracy is not going to be joining us today because... Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Good. I was, I was like, just where saying... is Samita? She's like, <laughs> she's like, I don't even know My where. My shirt is blending into the walls. As I was going live, I was like, what room did I pick to be? <laughs> You're matching. Oh my God, matching, blending, it's perfect. I need some blending away today because my throat is hoarse. And I was just going to say, um, sending good vibes out to Telly because I know she's not yeah. feeling well. So we're going to miss Tracy on the show. Good morning, um, ladies. Good morning, Chef Paula. How are you? Good. So I'm really sad about Telly being not, not being here, Tracy not being here. But I'm so excited that you are here. I can't wait to hear all about your food. Thank you. Um. And not to mention, I mean, right off the top, we should say tonight, you've already been to the Today Show, so I'll be on the next I was like just going to say, Samita, <laughs> did you prepare your questions so that you could be like hard-hitting? Hard-hitting questions. Wait, I am channeling my um, Barbara Walters, like, are we going to make him cry a little? Do we need to <laughs> <laughs> So this is a longer, so, you know, I have to be more prepared because yeah. uh, the Today Show was only four minutes. Well, well, right? what they air is four minutes, but it's four days of you trying oh to Oh, my God, out. yeah. It's a, it was actually almost a whole week. <laughs> oh, preparing. Well, but I it was a great you, experience. I promise you this will be so much easier, you know, and probably uh, probably the same amount of fun. <laughs> yeah, I'd I'm say sure the same amount fun. of fun. <laughs> <laughs> we can compare, right? Right, Sunny? Well, you, you were there, right, Kelly? So give us a little background and introduce I our was. Chat. Went with Balo. It was so much fun. He totally nailed it. If it was me, I would have been like, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was definitely a fun experience. Uh, Balo, tell us, like, a, like, start at the beginning. Tell us all about your business for the, everybody who's joining us who doesn't know um, about the food truck and about how you got started. So give us the whole rundown. Well, I started maybe like four years ago. Like, you know, only with the stuffies, uh, we mm -hmm. were doing like, uh, you know, like the Tezay's Inn and at the aquarium, uh, the Maritime Festival. So the food truck wasn't really on my plans. But then I was like, I needed more money to take the stuffies to a different level. Like my dream okay, is wait, 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 I have a question, I have a question. Let's start from the beginning. What's a okay. stuffy? Oh, so the <laughs> stuffy uh, is like, it's like a big clam, but it has lobster, shrimp, scallops and clams. Uh, were you? Do you try them when I was at the North Forker? At the Food and Wine Festival? To be honest, I ate so much stuff there and said, is that right. what you had there? I tried whatever yeah, you had. I, I thought it was, I thought, no, I didn't try those because at that time, not that I want to air dirty secrets, there was no power on that right. section. Yes. So you so were that, That's why. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you need to try those. It's, it's but really I did good. try and I did try the other dish you have. I thought it was a ceviche, but maybe I'm wrong. What was the other yeah, dish you had? The ceviche, yes. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I thought I'm losing my mind. Just just so everyone knows, we're talking about the North Fork earlier this year had a food and wine festival where yes. you know they invited all the amazing local food providers and restaurateurs and Chef Bala was there and I had a chance to sample his food there. Yeah, it was that was amazing. that was a great event. Yeah. Yeah, we had a lot. So, so the thing that Okay, so I back to stuffies. Is... They're clams. Yeah, most known for the stuffies, right? So tell us okay. more about the stuffies and then the other stuff that you're really known for. All right, so the stuffies was like the first thing and, and uh, we were doing events like pop top tent events. Uh, I was bringing my little oven and my warmer and we were just selling stuffies. So then, you know, me as a chef, uh, I wanted to express myself with more food and I feel stuck right now because I, I want to like do more food. But uh, people start responding good to them. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Then I started doing the ceviche. And, uh, you know, I, I was doing the ceviche when people came to my house and they loved it. And they're like, oh, can you make it for this party? Uh, so we ended up 
making a bunch of ceviche for all my friends. Then I decided to package it and I was just doing like delivers, like local delivers to people. Mm -hmm. um, then I bought the trailer, you know, just as a storage to keep my fridges and everything. Uh, then it got to the point where, you know what, I want to do more food. So, and the, of course the food truck business got a little popular, you know, so I set up the tra trailer and it's, it's crazy now because, you know, it's such a good response. And, you know, we were, we've been digging for a long time, like four mm -hmm. years and I was doing, you know, like private events and, and, uh, I was doing like, you know, like, like I said, the Taste Days End, the Maritime Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the what was food. the best event you've ever done? I think uh, the the maritime mm -hmm. is like the best because you know like we didn't I didn't expect people love the food that much that they'll come back and like we sold out like the first day. Wow! Of, you know I had like maybe couple, like a thousand and change stuffies, and I was like, oh, this should be good for two days, and we sold out in the first four hours of the event. Wow, that's so, great. Well, well the yeah. energy of that event is incredible because the entire yeah. Greenport I feel like it's filled with people happily eating, more happier drinking. You oh, know, yeah. so I think <laughs> and you know, like, this food is... really lends itself to the Maritime Festival being so seafood forward and being so fresh from the North Fork. It's like the perfect food for the Maritime Festival. Yeah, and especially stuffy, you know, like you eat one and then you eat one another one. And a lot of people are like, uh, let me just buy one because I want to, I don't want to, you know, people don't want to waste their money with something they're not going to like. Right. So they always come back. And it's funny when they bring the whole family, like, man, you know, everybody loved them. So now everybody's buying, you know. <laughs> and, uh, it was funny because on the Today Show, Hoda was like, so what is this? And Val's like, it's like a seafood cookie, which is kind <laughs> of true because like you eat one and you're like, oh, wait, I want another one. Kind of like a cookie. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, I, I like the term for it. <laughs> and it holds together See, that you know you take it out of the clam and then it's just you can just eat it like that and yeah and it's so good mm -hmm. uh, i love i so love we the were... evolution of the i love the evolution of the business because i know a lot of people you know watching or, or listening or have entrepreneurial hearts and want to plunge into things but a lot of times people think oh i need this and i need that i need that before i can do anything right. so i love that you're talking about you started small you perfected an item that worked for friends and family and then moved on to the ceviche, which you enjoyed for yourself. And I think when businesses grow organically, it's also easier to maintain because sometimes, and I, I feel like you're at that stage, which is why I'm having this conversation, is when your foot is on the gas, you can just take off, you know, and then find, find yourself struggling because you haven't put the steps in place of progressing from step one to step two to step three. Yeah. Right. But sounds I like have to cut you off there for a second, Sita, though. But I don't know if every entrepreneur is like Balo, though, because he's definitely one of the hardest working people I've ever encountered. He has this dream. He's going for it. He's been on the Today Show. He's on the Noco Live Show. <laughs> well, but, so but that, that's I don't what I'm saying. He can do it. And that's why it's great to hear how you did it. You know, because people sit at home think, oh, it's either easy or too difficult, you know. Right. But talking to people that have achieved it, it sort of gives you a little bit of a roadmap in that you don't always have to invest $100,000 to start a business. There is a way to start small, keep your pace, obviously do the hard work because, you know, being an entrepreneur, being your own business is 24-7. Literally, if it could be 25-7, it would be 25-7. Right, yeah, definitely. That's probably how many hours you're putting into this, right? And it's just, you know, like, uh, some people give up because you you have the expectation of, you know, the money. And, uh, you know, we all do this for money. But, uh, of course. Like, my, my first thing is to do it for, like, I learned to do it for the people to try my food and enjoy it. And and I think that's that's my goal. Like if I can cook something and people like when people come back to me and they say, "Oh my God, it it was so good." That's my pay. You know, I, I'm focused on that. Then eventually the money is just gonna flow in because you know I'm doing my passion, and uh, and that's that's the great thing about like you know there's people who maybe I'm I'm set up far away from the tables, and they take their time to come back to the trailer and say, "Oh my God, the food was excellent." And, you know, and that's that's what I, I'm there for, and and that's what I and. Uh...
that's what I, keeping this me is like something we going. talk about a lot kind of on the show it's like having this passion for what you do i think a lot of the the business owners and entrepreneurs that we have on the show and that are in the north fork in general have this really amazing passion and drive to see their product or to see their business do well and and to have it as something that people love and i think having that mindset over like i want to make so much money is really what helps in the end yeah and i, yeah. I think d definitely the passion shows through as you're talking you know about your food it, it's a, a something you're creating you know out of nothing you know yes everybody can get clams but nobody can make a seafood cookie out of them you know right. so the <laughs> fact that you providing that passion in that bite comes through to the person that is lucky enough to get to eat it so i, I think that's awesome so i have a question what kind of cuisine would you describe your food and that's that's another thing that i uh i'm not regional like i'm from guatemala and i cannot say i'm spanish food or because i put a little bit of everything together like i get inspired by so many uh so many countries so many traditions and like it's it's hard to say you know because uh you know i have some american and i can use some mexican uh guatemala and you know, all Central America is kind of like the same. Uh, like the other day, I made this salad with uh, uh, crispy noodles and, and like an Asian dressing, which oh. is a shrimp. I grill it with some other seasoning. So, it's, you know, I, I cannot put myself in like all Spanish food or, you know, Guatemalan or Mexican because I'll pretty much get inspired by everybody. Like uh, a lot of local places too that I've been and you know learn techniques and and new ways to cook stuff so follow and, tell us a little bit about like your journey from guatemala and california and how you ended up on the north fork so my my dad started coming to the north fork since the 90s early 90s um you know when, when i was a kid so when i was 16 uh i didn't want to go to school anymore so he's, he took me here to work to make me realize, you know, like maybe if I bring him to, to New York and, and work him hard, he's going to realize, oh, no, you know what? I want to go to school instead. But it was the opposite. Like, <laughs> I like to work and, and uh, like I work at the Old Barge. I don't know if you remember that restaurant. Um, I work in Pinder for, for a month. And I was just, you know, I like it. I like to, you know, work hard and get my money. I bought a car. Uh, then I went back to Guatemala and I felt like, you know what, uh, I need to like do something. There's when, when I moved to new, to San Francisco. Uh, and I started working in this great place where they told me how to cook. And, you know, I found my passion there for cooking. They had the patience to teach me. And, uh, we went from there. Then I came back years later, I came back to, to the North Fork and I really found, you know, I was like, you know what, this is what I'm, I want to do. I want to be cooking. And, and I started somewhere where basically they weren't that big. Like they were pretty small when, when I started working for them over the years, you know, like I started putting new ideas, new recipes and that business just grew like big. We went like triple amount of, you know, the food that when I started working there and that was great because, you know, people love my food. But you know, it's it's a whole process. Like uh, that that time that that I was there for twelve years, but that experience got me to to my my techniques and everything today, and that's that's what made me and working in other places too. Because I pretty much been been around. Sometimes Kelly's like, "Oh my God, you work here too? You work there?" Because <laughs> I I've been working in you know a, a few restaurants in the area. And uh, every time I hang out with Balo, he's like. Oh yeah, one time I, I worked there, one time I did a party there, oh, one time I did catering there. And I'm like, you've been everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that, but, that's... I, but, but, it, but it's wonderful because it sounds like all of these little experiences that you've had in all of these different places have brought you to this point here where now today it's all sort of not it's all sort of paying off right because yeah. i love that you said you were here at the north folk before and now you're back because i feel like somehow the north folk has a way of getting the, its claws deep into your soul and when right. you're away it, it just it, it calls you somehow yeah it calls definitely. definitely but but again had you tried to start this business when you were here the first time around it perhaps uh, no. may not have worked out 
the way you, you know, now. So you needed all of those experiences right. to sitting here right now on the No For Life show. <laughs> Definitely. And, you know, like uh, a lot of, now I understand the process of a lot of doors closing uh, at some point and, and all the doors opening. So you don't understand when you're going through, you know, the journey. But now I understand, oh, my God, like, it's great because, you know, and the end is paid off and, and right now we're just starting. Like this is just the beginning of, you know, like the vision, and and that keeps you motivated for the next step, and and you know, because you're working and working hard, and you expect sometimes to, you know, success come fast, but it it doesn't, and that's when you get tested. That there's when you have to just keep pushing forward, no matter what, and and like success like this, you know, being on the magazine, being in today's show. That's great, but in the end, it's like that's that's that it, you know. I, I want to keep pushing forward, and I think with hard work, it eventually happen. I, I think eventually is here now for you. I mean, it's eventually. Yeah, now. I I actually, you, know, <laughs> you are poised to yes. Yeah, like I I feel like I'm living the best of my life of my business, and and with the expectation of you know there's there's more, and I'm happy and uh, keep keep. Keep tuned because we we got some good announcements and and there's some great stuff coming our way. Awesome. Yeah. So okay, happy. so now we're at the food truck. You you've you've done smaller things and you've had you know pop ups and whatever, but now you have a full fledged food truck that is available. Um, yes. To, so tell us a little bit more about what you're currently doing in the business. Okay, so I, I've been doing uh you know local events. Uh, I've been doing like breweries, uh, the apple picking. Uh, and I'm doing private private parties too. Like I did uh, a few graduation parties, birthday parties. So the food truck is for hire. Like any event that you have, we pretty much can put a menu together. And, and, and give, you know, give me a sample. Give me some sample items. Obviously the stuffies, the serviettes. I feel like I could like I could rattle off Fala's menu because it's like okay, I go love ahead. This, and I love Kelly. that. <laughs> please, please do, Kelly. Good. I want to hear you. Know, you know, like, Kelly. Do you want me to rate it from like my first to like like rate it? Yes. <laughs> so my my first yeah. number one favorite is I think um oh this is hard. Now I can't do it. My first <laughs> I love the chipotle lobster said, chowder. You, say it again. I know when you said rate, perhaps not rate, maybe just tell what you like about Okay, each okay. Day. Because it's I'll different, just, I'll right? Just tell it all. Uh, the Chipotle lobster chowder is like one of my favorites, but it's seasonal, so you can't get it all the time, which makes it even more special. And then, of course, the ceviche, which is like such a great summer thing. And like, I mean, it's year round, but it's so refreshing in the summer. And then the stuffies and then the fish tacos. My kids literally love the fish tacos um, and the fish and chips. Like, we had it one night and the next morning for breakfast, Patrick was like, can I have Balo's fish and chips? <laughs> I'm like, uh, we don't have any of those right now. Um, what else? I mean, the grilled fish taco, I, like the list just goes on and on. What am I forgetting, Balo? There's like, there's so much more. But Yeah, we do. Uh, so I bread, bread my own shrimp too for the fried shrimp. So we do our own breading and that was make it special too. It's so good. We sell a lot of them. Yeah, um, I want to interrupt. Balo also makes his own chips, which on the Today Show were a really big hit with the ceviche. They're like, wait, you make your own chips? Like, <laughs> And, you know, it's actually from the real corn tortilla, and I cut them and fry them, and it's such, like, it makes such a difference. Because, you know, over the, the process, I try to buy stuff already cut or, you know, to make it easier. But I think, like, if you really want something good, you got to, like, make it yourself. Like, really go from scratch and... And you've been great, like they they respond like I love those chips and I even I make them I still eat them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the ceviche and stuff is I make them and I eat them all the time. Sometimes you get sick of, you know, just eating what you cook when you cook too much. But those are the two favorites that I cook a lot and I still eat it and I don't get bored. And all my family are crazy about them because they you know, they haven't unlimited so they're like, Oh my god, we want more <laughs> Yeah, but it's been great, and I'm happy, and, you know, like I said, the response of people is what keeps me going, and, and having these, you know, great people like Kelly and and a lot of other people that have been there for me, and it's just been great. I, I'm, I'm lucky to be around all these great people. 
Well, I think, I think it's a two-way street because obviously your food is delicious and every person that has tasted it says so and comes back for more. But one of the feedback that I also receive about you is not only is your food delicious, but you're genuinely a very nice person. Like a very simple example, back to the North Fork Food and Wine a Festival when, when I was walking through, there's like a hundred tables there. But one of the things I noticed that on your table, you had one of those driftwood succulents from um, oh, right. another friend. Yes. And I just, kept, you know, I saw it and right away I knew it was from her and I mentioned it to her and she felt so warm in that, oh my God, you took her stuff, displayed it on your table. And she was like, he is the nicest guy. And I'm like, you know, I hear that from a lot of people. <laughs> and it, all, it obviously comes through. So yes, you know, like attracts like, and I think you're putting your heart and your energy out there and what you're receiving is the same energy back. Yeah. yeah and you know, also taste it in the food. like. You know that Balo's putting his everything into the food because it comes through. It's not just like this restaurant, factory, whatever, where you get this food and you don't know where it comes from. Like when you order from Balo's truck, you're like meeting Balo and you like get the whole experience. So it definitely comes through in the food. And that's one of the things that I always worry, like, you know, put a lot of attention. Like even whoever is working for me, I'm always on top like okay you know do this with love you know like i uh, don't don't just do stuff just to do it you know put put that love into it like try it you know make sure it's when you taste it it makes you mouth watery and and that's what i always look on recipes and you know like i'm enjoying making them i put some music on and i'm like dancing and <laughs> every time you know i'm like that i love Wait, it can, we, can, um, that. Sanita, can we go back to Alyssa for a second so Alyssa just posted it last night. She asked Balo to come to her home for an event with a few of her girlfriends to do a cook demonstration. So now Balo is going to start offering cooking demonstrations. And I think the NoFo live show needs to get a cooking lesson from Balo. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that well, was the NoFo live show needs a lot. First of all, if you're, I, I want to say I love your mission statement where you said do it with love because I feel like just that alone makes me want to come and eat whatever is prepared with love, right? And second of all, now that you're expanding and you might end up with, you know, 16 trucks, if you ever need somebody to stand behind one and dole out the chipotle lobster mayo, I am totally your girl. <laughs> all right, but I keep that in the back of my mind, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I know, you know, you. Kelly, Kelly gets to uh, spend a lot of time because, you know, she's promoting a lot and collaborating a lot with you. But so that's super exciting. And, you know, I, I'm looking. I One of the things I know you're also going to be doing, I hope, because we're talking about it, is for the Slow Food East End annual meeting, perhaps, you know, we'll have the Barlow food truck there. But I'm Definitely. I'll be there. I need a I need a new plan to, to try wow, some of your food. Strange. I might have to go in your place, Anita. Are you absolutely You're sure? You're breaking up a tiny bit, but I'm volunteering <laughs> to go in your place, Anita. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. All right, are we? I can't believe the half hour has flown by. We have only four minutes left, so let's pretend it's the Today Show and do a rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the four, let's the do last do four it. minutes. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, I'm let's do it. it pretend this. Sure, All right, well, let's go. If you were to take uh, us to dinner, where would you take us? Oh, Red Rooster. Is, I live nearby, mm -hmm. and I've been there a couple times, and it's really good. I like the service and and you know it's just a little restaurant where you you feel like you're you're home you know uh, mm -hmm. yeah definitely there Love yeah it. they're very nice people too the, yeah, the, the duck the duck is amazing I'm trying to think oh, what I've never had duck. it mm. <laughs> duck is very good I, I, I said you live you definitely. live near the Red River yes yeah I live in Cocho so. So, so do you're you, having trouble and, and with your service a little. Oh, sorry. Um, can, like you hear me delay. can you hear me yeah. now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yes. I know you're working five hours a day. So do you have a catch a sunrise or a sunset? And if so, where on the North Fork would you suggest? So the sunrise usually, because I live around the salt farms. So usually it's like beautiful in the morning. And 
actually I can say I can just walk through my backyard and see the sunrise and it's just phenomenal. Same thing with the uh, sunset. You know, I live uh, near Oregon Road. So I just go over oh. on the beach there and I think it's just great. And sometimes even I just go out to, in the kitchen kitchen window and you can see that sunset and and uh, sometimes I don't have to go anywhere to to watch it. You know, that's that's one of the great things about where I live and and you know I've been here for a few years and hopefully be here for more years. But if I ever you know uh, buy a house, I want to buy a house where you can watch the same, you know, the, the sunrise and the sunset because it's, it's really nice. That's one of the things that I love. And usually I, I the sunset, I, I go almost every day because uh, mm -hmm. I Just feel like, like that's my yeah, You guys should go together. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, agree, you know, it's such I relaxing. Agree, I, there's no bad place to catch a sunrise or a sunset. And it is incredible the number of guests that come on the show and say, I can just see it from my backyard. Because you really pretty much can catch a beautiful glimpse of the sky from everywhere on right. the North Fork. And if they ever want, you know, if you ever want to jump into real estate and talk about reasons to move to the North Fork right here, this <laughs> right here is a perfect That place. should be like a real estate slogan. You don't even need anything else. Just like North Fork, the sunset. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Sunrise, too. sunrise, sunset. The Todd Farm can be amazing. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Definitely. Balo, are you a winery or a brewery guy? What's your go-to? Uh, more like a brewery. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I've been really busy that the times I've been in the brewery is when they invite me to, you know, <laughs> set up. But uh, I like Uber Geek a lot. Their beer is good. Uber Geek is fresh. fun. Yeah, and it's fun. Are they in Riverhead? Where are they? In uh, yeah, they're in Riverhead by almost by the school, by elementary school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and it's a you know it's kind of hiding, but once you're there, it's, it's nice. The inside is nice, and um, mm -hmm. the beer is so good. And they also they do got, a lot of good events. Like they have that, um, you know, the fish guy, Sunita. He does like talks, like educational science talks. He goes there a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should catch one of them. They're actually super, and you should follow him too. He's actually a super interesting follow. He oh, is he on the North Fork follow? You know. Yeah, him. he is in the North Fork. So he's <laughs> like this science guy. I don't even know yeah. what he is. He's called Fish Guy Photos. We should get him on here too. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that by following and great. finding out more. That sounds awesome. Well, why, why for that matter? Hello, Ubagi Brewing. Are you listening? We need to come. <laughs> yes, we need to get them on here too. <laughs> great and i also like wine so i even i don't go to wineries uh i like this new wine that i uh, i did at an event with them uh it's called uh poppy and rose uh-huh so good like they're uh, with the um woodside orchards right yes woodside mm -hmm. orchards like, yeah uh, kelly the kelly's launching. the wine maker, right yeah kelly yes. Koch. Yeah. So yeah. The wine the, uh, that was a great night you know i did some uh some pairings with her wine and that night was one of the busiest nights I ever had. And it was, wow. you know, like people walking by and they come to the window like, oh my God, the food was great. Like, it was amazing. I had those uh, Black Sivas fish tacos, the grilled tacos, and uh, they were, because I had them paired with uh, one of the wines and they were you know, off the shelf. <laughs> amazing. Um, like a, like a common Sanita's theme breaking we sold up. Out. Yeah, I know, I'm saying. Yes, can you hear me? Now you are, yep. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, Balos sounds like a common theme. We sold out. It seems like to happen every time you show up with your food. You know? <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's, a, that's a good problem, I think. <laughs> For, sure. For sure. And also, yeah. a lot of stuff is like, we have it today, but we might not have it for the rest of the weekend. So you better get it today kind of thing. Right. Some people, <laughs> some people get mad. They're like, oh my God, you sold out. Why you didn't get more? I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's nothing that I can do. Uh, you know, especially with the grilled fish tacos lately, because of course they were on the Today Show. So people are expecting them all the time. But you know, like it's really fresh fish. So I can just buy this amount and, and, and you know, try to sell out. And don't don't bring whatever I bring. Back, I remember the last time I got them from you, you were like, "Oh, this fish was swimming last night." <laughs> <laughs> it actually was because you know he didn't have any, <laughs> and then in the morning he's like, 
yo, like I went this morning to, to the boats and um, they, they was just coming back from fishing. So he filleted him right away and he just gave him to me. So okay. that fresh and you know, that, you can taste. that's North Fork for you. Like you don't get any more North Fork than that. Like fishermen caught it, Balo cooked it. We're eating it done. <laughs> yeah, straight, you know, like there's not a lot of people between the fish, you know, it's just the fishermen, you know, and, and the guy who filleted him straight to me. So there's nothing like going from market to market to market, you know, we, we got there's where where you know that your fish is really fresh and and hopefully you know one down the line I want to just keep doing all the local stuff because I really down to do local seasoning uh, and it's just great I I love you know I, I got my passion for seafood and and I love to cook seafood and sometimes I'm like thinking so much like whoa like trying to do new recipes this and that like I had this great idea but then I gotta like slow down because it's kind of limited, the like the food truck, you know, you have just limited amounts of space to keep everything. And sometimes I, I go too crazy with the menu. And I'm like, no, 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 I got to slow down. Because <laughs> then I'll be complaining to myself, like, oh, my God, I don't have no room for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, you know, and, and that's what I was trying to say a little bit earlier is because when you're passionate about what you're doing, you want to do more and more and more. And, and your ideas are always swirling in your head, especially at 2 a.m. at night. But part of being a successful business owner is also, you know, leaving the emotions out of it and thinking strategically and pacing, right. doing what you can when. So I have no doubt that we're going to see bigger things from you, but I applaud you for like taking that breath and figuring out what works best for you and, you know, how to best provide what you're going to be providing. Right. And, you know, like, don't go over my, what I want to do. You know, I want to straight up, you know, do seafood and, you know, down the line, if if I uh, open a restaurant or something, you know, I want to add some steak and, you know, like a good quality steak or something else, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, sure whatever, I'm sure whatever you offer will be delicious. Um, we could talk to you all day, but we do have to wrap up. So if you can sum up, you know, what we talked about in this whole hour of what you love about being part of the North Fork community. Uh, I think the, the people, like, you know, you get, like, really good uh, people where you, they're willing to, you know, collaborate with you and, and like, uh, make you feel like a family. You know, there's places where I've been there, they make me feel like family and, and they're so helpful, like, oh, you need electric, you need this, you need that. So I think that's, that's one of the reasons. And I'll stay on the North Fork, I don't know, until God decides. <laughs> But I really, you know, I, I enjoy being around here and I like it. And like I said, you know, the people are great. Well, we're so happy that you're part of the North Fork family and we're extra happy about being able to have at local access to your fresh food. Um, so can't wait to see what's coming next up for you. Um, is the food truck going to be anywhere in the near future that you want to share, Kelly? Uh, you know what's coming up? Bala knows the schedule better than me sometimes. <laughs> so Saturday, we're going to be at Bridge, Bridgefield uh, Farm in Peconic. Pecon yes. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to be there 12 to 4.30, 5 o'clock. Yes. So, Bridgefield is actually there. a really fun location, too. They have, like, the fire pits. That's where I last went to go see Bala at Breeze Hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's fun. So, And then the following well, Sunday, uh, you know, usually I uh, – I try not to take too many, you know, I try to really plan my events uh, that way, because it's hard to find help right now. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm by myself and I have some people that help me prep and I get my son to work with me on weekends. <laughs> so that's another great thing. So yeah, just keep keep uh, keep a track on the Instagram account. We post, uh, you know, a couple of days before or even a week before where we're going to be. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Sounds good. So if you're not following Balo Foods on Instagram, follow him um, and go find his food this weekend, next weekend, the following weekend. Um, sounds <laughs> like you know, hire him for your party. And then <laughs> also we, we, we're that's working on... Really good uh, too. That sounds like a really good idea. Well, we're good luck to some, all uh, We're working on some uh, holiday packages too that, you know, even if you cannot find the truck, you can order them and we, you you get free delivery, you know, on the North Fork. And... Uh, right. Yeah, just We're gonna, keep, keep the best. Hold on, we need a whole show on this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so no food truck needed, 
you will have a, ca a catering menu, for lack of better words, and we can just get food delivered or picked up to our house? Yes. Every weekend, you know, he does free delivery on the North Fork, Sanita. You can just order on a where weekend. Have I been? Where have I been? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. we, have a, we have a special menu for that. So uh, we're going to start posting it. And, uh, you know, just reach me out. And yeah, you can well, enjoy it. Yeah, I look on your Instagram. I look on your website. If you're hiding your menu somewhere, can we please post it so I can? <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with eating lobster chowder. I will food. get on that. I will get on a menu. I, don't, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with turkey, but lobster chowder sounds like a great side with turkey to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely the stuff is, you know, you get them frozen and you can just bake them yourself. And yeah, uh, it's, it's All right, we are, really we good. Are, we are making it, we are going to have a whole other half hour show on holiday menu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And See, we were, we, I was Thank worried about the, the half an hour. Now we have more time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Chef you so Bob. much for the opportunity. Good and show. And we'll catch you guys next Friday. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Bye.